The lunge is a great exercise that we've all probably done at some point or another, or at least seen somebody do it. It's a great exercise mainly for the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings can help protect you from injuries as we go through age and can also help undo the effects of sitting down in a chair all day. Today I'm going to run you through the basic lunge and then four different variations to help you mix the lunge up a little bit in your own workouts. For all the lunge variations we're going to go through today, I'd recommend doing around about three sets. Obviously make sure you do both legs. Have around about 60 seconds to one and a half minutes rest in between each set and do around about eight reps per leg. Today I'm doing all these exercises from the comfort of my own home and my own lounge. But of course, if you do have a gym membership or you're a little bit more advanced, you can advance from the comfort of your living room into a gym, for example, and grab some weights just to increase the resistance and how difficult these lunges are. So for the normal lunge, we're just gonna be stepping forwards. This is super simple. Dropping as low as we can, keeping the chest up, eyes facing forwards. Of course, we can change legs each time or you could do a certain amount of reps on one side and then change legs and then go for the other side. Again great exercise it's going to target everything kind of lower body wise with mainly the quads the glutes and the hamstrings not really looking at any of them specifically but because we are moving forwards it's going to introduce the quad a little bit more than some of the other variations of the lunge which we'll go through in a second. The second variation and the second lunge we're going to go through now we know the simple one is exactly the same but we're just stepping backwards. So all we're doing for this one standing nice and upright and as I said we're going to step backwards dropping down as low as you can doesn't matter how low down you go and again we can go both legs at once or we can change and just do eight reps of one leg and eight reps on the other. Again, facing nice and upright, facing forwards, eyes looking forwards. And this is going to target the hamstrings a little bit as opposed to the quads. When we're moving forwards, we're going to activate those a little bit more. When we're stepping backwards, we're going to activate the hamstrings and the glutes a little bit more on this one as well. The second variation is called the split squat. And I know it doesn't have lunge in the name, but it's still a lunging movement. So all we're doing for this one, this one's quite good if you're a beginner, because we're gonna stay in one static spot. This is often called the static lunge as well, but I like to call it the split squat. So all we're doing, putting our feet in that sort of lunge position that you might have already stepped out towards or stepped back with a previous variation, but we're focusing on dropping down as opposed to forwards on this one. And again, same position, eyes and head, chest looking forward, and we're trying to drop down as low as we can, then firing back up. Nice and steady, about two seconds down, two seconds up. This is gonna help work the glute a little bit more because we don't have that forward movement or that backwards movement this time. We are trying to just drop down. Again, we are working the hamstrings, glutes and quads, but more focusing on the glutes a little bit with this variation. Eight reps one side, eight reps on the other. This is a great variation if you're a beginner. Okay, for the next variation, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but we're gonna advance it a little bit by raising that back foot on something. So if you're at home, a sofa works great. If you're in the gym, grab a bench, put your foot flat on there. But ideally, you want it around about knee height or just under. The lower the object is, the easier this is going to be. So all we're doing for this one, again, get yourself in that nice lunge position, then back leg elevated on the surface. And again, we're just trying to concentrate on dropping straight down, nice and slowly, two seconds down, two seconds up. We're of course gonna do one leg at a time again on this one. So around about eight reps on one side, then you're gonna go eight reps on the other side. What this allows you to do is drop down a lot lower than a normal lunge, and that's gonna really help, again, target that glute as well as the quad and the hamstring. And for the final variation today, we're gonna to go through the side lunge. So a little bit different to all the others, but the side lunge helps activate the glutes a little bit more because we are moving sideways. We're gonna to have to stabilize our knee that little bit more, and we're really gonna to start to feel it on the side of the bum as opposed to the quad, which we often feel quite a lot during the normal lunge. So you're gonna stand from one position, you're gonna step out sideways as far as you want to. If you're less advanced, just take a little step. More advanced, take a bigger step. It's gonna depend on your flexibility as well. Chest up nice and tall, eyes facing forwards, dropping down as low as you can, trying to keep this knee in line with the toes, dropping down as low as you can, sticking that bum out backwards, and then coming back up to the standing position before going again. And again, eight reps on one side, then 
at your reps on the other side. And that is today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully now you'll understand a little bit more about the lunge, what it's working, and then four variations on the normal lunge, which you can add into your training just to spice things up a little bit. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe for new videos every week, and I'll see you in the next one. I've been Vitality Coach Johnny.